Alex Bayes made me a, a, a doormat that said, I'm going to stop you right there. Cause that was a, if I had a catchphrase and we could update it. it I like, would like right. to just pause the uh, podcast right here to salute Bayes. Greatest living joke writer in America. I said, I've said it on here before. Yeah. He wrote, uh, he wrote like a supermodel's vagina. Let's all give a warm welcome to Leonardo DiCaprio. And he also wrote one of my favorite jokes ever for you, for the correspondence dinner. Donald Trump said recently has a great relationship with the blacks, though unless the blacks are a family of white people, I bet he's mistaken. Uh, and that's just two out of, he also wrote the Black Eyed Peas are doing a free concert in Central Park. Uh, a free concert in Central Park, the Black Eyed Peas, that sounds too true to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Those are three out of legitimately a thousand incredible jokes the guy's written. I mean, again, a banger a day, easy, sometimes three. Mm -hmm. A day. A day. And when He writes, I, closer look, you, him. Sal writes, I want to make sure Sal Gentile also shout out, writes yep. the first draft, and then Bayes and I come in and, and put in a few jokes. But that waiting for the Bayes draft on anything is so exciting because it's just he writes in like blue. As you just scroll through like a 30-page document, and there's four blues, and he's just like, send them to cards. <laughs> he, when I left SNO, I got late night. I went into Lauren's office, and uh, he said, you can't have Bayes. <laughs> And I said, I only, I'm only taking base. But it was very, uh, I mean, I think that is the highest tribute you can get as a writer. I right, can't uh, believe we said Lauren's not desperate for anyone. And then, but Lauren literally said, you can't have base. And then Lauren did a very funny bit, which is he kept naming his least favorite writers at the time and telling me I could have them, which was, I thought was beyond him. Give me some of the names. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it was, I can't believe he knew their names. I, I, because I will say, like, when Lauren, is dismissive of a writer. It feels it's like, like they die. And it's like, oh no, you look at that. You, you yeah. This bit only worked if you knew that. No, actually right. it's worse for them than they know. Yeah. And he was like, I've already told them. So they're, it's on. That you, you'll, you'll, they start on Monday. Uh, you have a correspondence dinner base with a, a key player there. Yep. You were there. Yep. No, I get, are you going to give me the key player designation? Key player. We had a bunch of us. John Mulaney, was, uh, key Mulaney. player? Will you give him a key player designation? Mulaney was a key player. Mulaney wrote one of my favorite jokes you didn't do. Won't age well. We were, it was when drones first became known. Yeah. Obama uses drones. Uh, uh, if you don't know what drones are, drones are the street gang that Joe Lieberman was a member of in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Some variation on that. <laughs> the drones hey did you like that did you like that yeah did you like it though you want more don't want to work would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people first of all go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh watch more clips this is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in a little i'm not really used to the green screen